Hello and welcome back to the Invest Channel, everyone. Got some fun stuff planned for today. Uh, currently at the laundromat going through and just changing out the quarters from the machines. After that, I have to look into a uh, machine that was flooding. Uh, typically, when the machine either isn't draining or is flooding out, it's caused by a big clog. And so I'm going to be pulling that apart and uh, looking to see what's going on there. And it normally isn't pretty. Um, after that, I'll be counting up uh, the last two weeks worth of cash so that I can take that over to the bank and deposit it. So you can get an idea of the kind of revenue that we're getting at the laundromat currently. And this doesn't include the wash dry fold service, which most of which is paid for by credit card, but it's still pretty neat and fun to go through and see how I did. Um, I've got a lot more content coming through on just different renovations that were going on at the laundromat that are now finished and some other projects that I've been taking on. So stay tuned for some episodes coming up in the next week or two so I can catch you guys up on all of that. Uh, other than that, let's get to this clogged pipe. So I'm going to start by just unscrewing the main drainage pipe that comes out of the machine. And it was pretty clear as soon as I started unscrewing it, there was some lint coming out. So once I pulled that out, you can see there's a huge chunk. And a lot of times this is just a bra wire wrapped up in all kinds of lint and gunk. And I mean, there's even a dollar bill stuck in here, change and God knows what. Uh, this thing was pretty much the size of a squirrel. Absolutely disgusting. And um, probably should have been wearing gloves or something, but it's just basically a giant lint slug, as you can see. And so uh, I dug around a little bit more in there, but it was all pretty much just congealed into one main piece. So um, after that, I basically just put this thing back together, screwed it back in, ran it through a cycle, and... It was good to go. All right, so I'm back at home now, uh, just wrapping up the counting of the rest of March's uh, deposit. So this is what I have left here to count. Um, I'll show you in a second what I've already counted. Uh, so let's take a look at what uh, roughly two weeks worth of laundromat money looks like. So here you have it. Um, next up, I'm going to go through and basically just count each bill, write down the number, and then um, put that into uh, just a spreadsheet. Uh, I better get counting and then we'll see how much money I have here.
All right, so the grand total was $7,812 for the two week period, which is really great. That's, I would think, the most I've made in two weeks, any single two week period so far, which is really great. Uh, I think it shows that the online marketing is really paying off and just the renovations and keeping the place clean, uh, keeping a lot of the homeless out of the laundromat and all their kinds of dealings away uh, is definitely giving some confidence back to the customers. I'm looking to uh, continue to improve that number uh, in the laundry as well as the wash dry fold. So I'll keep you all updated in that and stay tuned for the next time um, where I can go a little bit more in detail on some of the projects that I'm doing at the laundromat. Um, but other than that, thanks. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks and have a good one.